The Make-A-Wish Foundation partnered with a local construction company to make a little girl's dream house come true. Our News Channel reporter Reed Harmon shows us the progress in Santa Maria. A fighter. We were thinking, is she into ballet or is she into jiu-jitsu, which my family is into that. And she did say, yeah, she wants to do jiu-jitsu when she turned four, which was the age. But unfortunately, she can't. Catalina Covarrubias had to face her biggest fight, lymphoblastic lymphoma, before she even turned five. It's been very traumatic for her. Um, I'm not sure how much she's going to remember, but we have noticed that she does get anxiety, panic attacks, and uh, we do know that she's going to have some type of PTSD from it. And because Catalina shares a room with her sister and a house of three siblings with one on the way, Finding a place to be herself and relax is just what she needs. So she created a dream board. She started getting pictures from magazines, or she's told me to print out some pictures, and she made her own dream board of what she would like her dream room to look like. And with the help of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, her dreams can come to life. Just bring the magic of life for the child. Local 805 carpenters have done volunteer projects with the Make-A-Wish Foundation in the past, but the reason for coming together on their own time remain the same. Projects like this are good for the soul, and they genuinely are. They make you feel good about yourselves, you're giving back, you're helping out, and uh, sometimes that's what life's all about. The finished product isn't expected for a couple of weeks, and Catalina has no idea what's in store. Uh, she thinks that the shed is just a tool shed, something for our stuff from the garage. And it isn't just a space for her arts and crafts, but a space for her to think about others instead of herself. Be happy, be brave, be strong. And that's what she always prays for other children, to be happy, be brave, be strong when they're at the clinics or at the hospitals. In Santa Maria, Reed Harmon, Fox 11 News.